Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and everywhere there's troubles and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Adelante. Ah! Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Andale, pues. Look out! Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... 
Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real viable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, Old Faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy now. Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, whoa, easy. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! They're coming out of the fields! Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
trees! Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 